Welcome to the Shake Up Podcast. I'm your host and co-founder of Mr. Consistent, Jared Bell. This is a podcast where we invite friends of the brand into our studio. We get to know their story a little bit better. We chat all things business, culture, and marketing, all while shaking up a few cocktails. This week on the Shake Up Podcast, I got to know the talented artist behind the brand, Shut Up, Ellie Hopley. Ellie has a special type of bond with her fans that some artists can only dream of creating. She explains how current feelings, emotions, and situations in her life are expressed through her work in the hopes to build a sense of connection and togetherness for her followers. The success of her work and brand Shut Up has taken her to some incredible places, from seeing her art in the form of tattoos and creating a clothing brand and even having a featured art installation at Hotter here on the Gold Coast. As a fellow artist, it's been incredible to get to know Ellie and her style and where she pulls all of her inspiration from. Trust me when I say you love Ellie's quirkiness just as much as I did. So without further ado, let's get in and meet Ellie Hopley from Shut Up. Welcome to another episode of the Shake Up Podcast. We have a very special guest in here today. I was just telling her, I saw her post. She tagged us really early on when we first kicked off and it's really nice to have you in here because I I was really excited when you first posted and you tagged us. I was like, fuck, Brit, someone with heaps of followers just posted (laughs) this shit. Ellie Hopley, welcome. Hopley, Hopley. <laughs> Hop- fuck. <laughs> Ellie Hopley. That's There's it. There's no E. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just told me and I fucked it up anyway. What Whatever. Can, we can keep welcome. it in, surely. Welcome. Thanks. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm so good. Thank That's you so good. much for coming in. Oh, I, you're welcome. Uh, like, I'm genuinely excited to get to know you because I've since that day, yeah. I've followed you for like the last year and it's been like a year and a half. Oh, thanks. Um, I've seen you kind of progress and do your things and yeah. your online store grows and your yep. collabs grow and yep. all those kind of things. Really yep. cool. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about you. Where are you from? Because you're all not right. from Australia. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, 20, I'm 28. 28. I'm 29 on Monday, which is sad. Um, I was born it's not in sad, England. mate. Wait till you get to 33. And I know, but for, for me personally, personally <laughs> 29 is a bit. Um, yeah, I was born in England and I moved here when I was like 12. So I've lost my accent completely, except for when I say yogurt <laughs> and pasta. <laughs> How do you say pillow? Pillow. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. What did you think? No, it's, it's <laughs> not, I, like when sometimes when Jeremy says pillow, my, my business partner is obviously from Newcastle, where I'm like, mate, that's not how you say it. How does he say it? Pillow. Yeah, that's not on. <laughs> that's incorrect. Um, yeah, so I moved here when I was 11 or 12, it's hard to say, and yeah. Definitely wouldn't be leaving anytime soon. To the Gold Coast? Yeah, to the Gold Coast. Yeah. So you went to school here? Yeah, went to, go school to school here. Went to St. Hilda's for a bit. Wow. Um, but my sister got Unexpected. expelled. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we went to Emmanuel, which yep. is like a really random choice. And yep. she also got expelled from there. Oh, wow. So go see us. She was really going for it. <laughs> <laughs> but I graduated. So. Where'd you graduate, Emmanuel? Emmanuel, then? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she let you graduate. She yeah, thank you so out. much. Yeah. And you're based down, that's obviously up, those schools are up northern end of the Gold Coast. Yeah, you're yeah, based yeah, down yeah. south end of the Gold Coast yeah. now. Yeah, um, I'm in Palm Beach at the moment. Palm Beach. Yeah. And give us a little bit about, like, shut up. Like, how do you, how do you say it? Is it shut up? Shut up. Shut up. Or just, just shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. Like, I wanted to call it shut up, but. Unavailable. It was unavailable. <laughs> so I added a little R in there and then when people like talk to me, they like, shut up. I'm like, that's not it. No, no, just shut up. That is not it. <laughs> yeah, shut up. That's it. Cool. Um, yeah, I... When did was, it start? Like, yeah, I think I'm going to say like six years ago or six and a half years ago, I just like made an Instagram account because um, I was always drawing. Yeah. Like in school, just always doodling random little things and my friends were like oh they're like really good you should make a page and I was like oh, okay blah, blah. Cause that's kind of and when Instagram started popping yeah off like a I did bit, I right? definitely like six, seven years ago like wasn't didn't have a plan or think anything yeah. would happen um but yeah I just like started uploading random little drawings and then I remember I made my first shirt and I fucking hated it I was like Ugh, <laughs> that's not for me I'm not doing that that's like I just yeah it was really random how it happened like and because really you, you make heaps of different stuff now. Like yeah, you make yeah, yeah. bucket art, socks, yeah. shirts, you're doing collabs, yeah. you do actual art. What yeah. is it what else do you do? Anything um, else I missed? Yeah, I do like all of that. I do tattoo commissions. Oh, I yeah. do like portraits of 
people's dogs if they want. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I saw that. You're like, do you put you put things out and you're like, I'll do pictures of dogs and stuff like that and people can submit it and then you'll just draw yeah, them yeah, all yeah. at, one, at yeah. one time. Yeah. So sick. Yeah. But then I get, I like do it and then I'm like, fuck, why did I do that? Instant regret. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got like a hundred messages of like, hey, this is my dog. I love him so much and I feel bad. I'm like, okay. And then I just end up doing like a hundred and I, oh, at man. the end of it, I'm like, I cannot. <laughs> I'm not going to do that again. Sorry, dog didn't make the cut. Yeah, sorry. You do everything um, on iPad? Yeah. Procreate? Yeah. So, so I started just on paper and then after a couple of years, I was like, all right, this is kind of Procreate's only been around for like three or four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as soon as I got my iPad, that was just like, wow. The game changer eh, for yeah. all like digital artists. Yeah. I love I it. It's like, my favorite thing. This is amazing. I can just erase it and start again start again because i'm super impatient so i'm like did you have like the whole process back in the day i i remember it because i used to um work in like a my background is graphic design and drawing and all that kind of stuff mm. and i just remember the days where i'd have to like draw something and then put it on like the light box yeah and then redraw it and then you draw it like 16 times and then three hours later you're like oh finished but I, I, what i could do on a light box in like three or four hours i can do an ipad in 20 minutes yeah mental i love it it's very good because i'm yeah like really impatient so i just like draw something and if i hate it next do you still get to a point where you're like uh maybe i might pull out the paint brushes and pens no. every now and then never no, no. just sometimes rarely, like very rarely <laughs> like my dog ate my apple pencil and i was like I guess i use a real pencil <laughs> <laughs> for a bit and i hated it it's going back's not fun nah Where's all. where's all like the I guess the inspiration and stuff because it's all it's um what kind of style would you put it in? I literally don't know. Like I, it's it started off like I was going through a hard time like mentally, yeah, and I was kind of drawing like how I felt and yeah, just like based off my own like feelings. And I guess that's where people started. Um, like connecting to it, yeah. I guess, yeah. And like I realized that it was relatable. Yeah. Um, so I guess I just kind of just draw how I feel. That's cool. And like I feel a lot of different feelings, so it's like that's why it's like all very different. Yeah, I saw the Christmas one you put up the yeah, other day. Christmas is, yeah, Christmas. Yeah, can't spell Christmas without shit. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That's I hate Christmas. <laughs> it's so funny, like, because lots of people obviously would look at your artwork and go, oh, it's, um, it's simple or there's not like, yeah. Like as a somebody that draws, you always get to a point you're like, do I need to add more? Do I need to add less? But your artwork is very simplified and very like it's easy for people to understand. Yeah. Do you ever get to a point you're like, oh, I need to add more. Or I need to take less away or like mm. you, or how do you know when you're done? That's um, the hardest part. I, I never know when I'm I done. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not like a – I'm definitely not like a detailed drawer, mm. obviously. It's actually kind of funny because my drawing – I'm so bad at drawing. Like, I, I can't <laughs> – if you were, like, draw this glass, I couldn't. Like, I can't actually draw. It's yeah. just, like, about the words and, I guess, like, the humour in it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I literally take 30 seconds or a minute. And just And if it it's out. not good, then I just won't post it. See you later. Yeah. And then move on. I don't it. look at it for an amount of time. I'm just like is – your, yeah. is, your, is your – I guess you'd be like – I imagine when you look back at, like, people like – um like Picasso or any of those kind of guys and you go back through their work and they've just got books and books and books full of stuff that they never saw the light of day, no. never yeah. never got posted or yeah. like, and it's all kind of comes out later on, people find bits and pieces. Yeah. I imagine your iPad archive is like that. It's like, it goes <laughs> for about 45 years. It's just like, yeah, you'll be more scrolling gi- forever. I need more gigs. Yeah. I need more <laughs> yeah. gigs. Give me more gigs. Do you get heaps of people that like DM me and be like, I love this or like a, you just put stuff up and like a, people probably would request prints yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff out. Like you put a piece of artwork up just because yeah. you're tay feeling and yeah. and then like, hey, can you turn this into a print? Can yeah. you turn this into a shirt? Mm-hmm. All the time. How many like you're online because you, – I saw the other day you're like, I'm closing my online store. Yeah, I can't cope. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, I actually can't cope. Like the DMs are on 99 plus messages Whole every, nonstop, all hours day, are, hours, day. The Michigan's is one gets like that on like a, after a weekend of like from yeah. Friday to Saturday when someone's not there checking them all day. Mm. It gives me proper anxiety when a, I look in of, and go in and yeah, you're like, holy shit. Yeah, I love like replying to everyone, obviously, but like... 
It's impossible. 99 plus. <laughs> all the time. And then I, it's like every month I'll delete everything. Yeah. And then start again. And then I wake up in the morning and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. But I love it. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. I just wish I could. Manage it. Everyone, you know. Yeah. Maybe you need somebody managing it for you. Yeah, but they won't be as funny as me. Yeah, when true. That's fine. very true. Like it might be. <laughs> I guess what, like, who are the collabs you've done? Because you've done a couple now. Like, I know you did something with Gold Coast City Council or something, or the I oh, did, Hoda um, or something. Yeah, it was. I did a. Um, sorry, my brass strap is. Oh, good. Well and truly. Choking leaving out. my side. <laughs> um, yeah, I did the mural. I did a massive wall at Hoda. Hoda, however you say it. Um, On the iPad. No, I got you painted. like a fat Posca pen and just did it. And just did and it. It was like it. a weird cartoon, um, and I had to get up at like four a.m. But oh, I smashed wow. it out in two days. And how big was the wall? Huge. Like I had to get a f- uh, what's it called? Like a scissor lift. I had and to get a scissor lift yeah. license. Oh, stop it! <laughs> yeah, I had to go to this course, and I was like, "Hello, men, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to." Yeah, it was really Roof weird. It, roofers and in gutter installs yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And I'm here, here with, I'm, yeah. I need it for my Posca pen. <laughs> yeah. So I was using this lift. That's how big it was. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Cool. Two days. Was up for like six months, I think. Yeah, right. Mm. How cool. And then like you're wearing something that yeah, you collab. Yeah, this Who'd is you do coming out on Sunday. This is with Jericho Road clothing. They do yeah, like right. super fun, obviously super fun clothes. I've done heaps of collaborations. Um, yeah. I can't even. Name them all. There's, There's just a that lot lady. going on. <laughs> <laughs> Is this, uh, have you had a job or did you Yes, just, I have you, had a job, actually. <laughs> I always love asking like yeah. people obviously who have online stores or yeah, like yeah, yeah. Um, work for themselves yeah. and like they get, you obviously have got to a point now where your online store can support your lifestyle yeah, and yeah. everything that you do and you can do a bit of influencer work and all those kind of things because you've got yeah. the followers yeah. and commissions and stuff pay. Sometimes pretty well, yeah. sometimes not. Yeah. <laughs> Depending sometimes who it is. really not. <laughs> <laughs> but like you've obviously got to a point now where you like your brand and your your business is yeah. all encompassing and you're working for yourself. Yeah. What, what did you used to do for work before? And when did where you should like, I start? Yeah, what did you used to do for work um, before all this? The re- most recent job I had was at Platypus Shoes. Oh yeah. Um, and that was just like so fun. Yeah. But I just one day I was like yeah, look, I'm probably not going to come back tomorrow. I'm just. I've had enough. I've had enough. Because <laughs> my business was going so well. Yeah. And I was just like, I really don't need to be here. And I'd rather focus on like Doing completely that. on my business. So, yeah. And then before that, I worked at a golf club. Yeah, which right. Was, can I swear on here? Yeah, absolutely. Fucked. It was <laughs> so fucked. Like, it was just old men just like, yeah, skilly of gold, thanks, love. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, yeah. Bang. Just pouring oh, shit. Oh, it was awful. Pouring shit it beers was awful. all um, day, every day to in a title. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've just had, like, stupid jobs, really. Yeah. Not stupid, but, you know, nothing. I never went to uni or anything. Yeah. So I just did, like, random retail or hospitality. Was there or something just, that, like, like when you made that transition, like, I'm not coming back tomorrow, obviously business is going well. Yeah. Was there something that was, like, triggered it or like a piece of artwork or like a something that you did that was like holy shit or even before that like something that was like this is real like yeah. I know I had that moment with this business like we like it was we're building it and building it and then we did like a I can't even remember what it was it was like it was mother it was the mother's day and it must have been like a month and a half after we launched and we did like 300 gift boxes or something yeah for mother's day and I was like wow People actually yeah. want this stuff. Yeah, they yeah, actually yeah. really like it. And and then you start to see like through Shopify like repeat purchases and stuff yeah. and people start coming and you're like, Wow, well, we might we might have a real business here. Like yeah. was there something like that for you that Um, definitely even before I quit, it was like I would release a shirt and it would just sell out. Yeah. And I would be like my whole house would be covered in, in like, T shirts and yeah, bags. Just shit and- everywhere. I'm like, this is crazy. But I remember um I was at work at Platypus, and I went to the toilet to like blow my phone. Obviously, <laughs> checking those Shopify sales. <laughs> I need to do it. Like, and I just hit twelve thousand followers. And to me, I was like, "Oh my god! Like, I've made it." That's like, that is just. I was like so happy and so excited. I ran back in. And I was like, "I got twelve thousand followers." And I think I just thought, "This is it. Like, it's happening." Yeah, I'm getting 
so many orders and people are following every day. It's yeah. not stopping anytime soon. It's not so plateauing, let's just yeah. Go. Like, I don't have anything to lose. So I just was yeah. like, okay. Throw it all in and yeah, let's go. Let's go. That's mm. what we did. Yeah. It's pretty scary. Scary, but. How's the transition of going from, like, at that eight, like 20, what do you mean? 28 now, you would have been like 24, 20, yeah, yeah 24 ish. Like yeah. How's the transition from um, getting tax back to paying tax? Awful. <laughs> I kind of wish I knew, yeah. Do you have anyone that helps you with, like, the business yeah, stuff? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, it, no, 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 I don't. I do everything. Do you? You lodge I your bass in it. Yeah, but you lodge your, like, bookkeeping and all that I kind of stuff. I do everything myself. Wow. Um, but, yeah, fucking hell. Paying tax makes me, like, feel sick. Yeah, it's. But, oh, I'm very lucky that I've got, like, I've, this is my fourth business and I've, my wife is um, very competent in that area and my yeah. business partner in this business, Jeremy, he's, he's very much across that kind of stuff. But yeah. when it comes to numbers and... Um, I'm awful at it. Doing that kind of stuff, like a, a especially like logic and bass and tax and um, forecasting and all those kind of things. Yeah. Like I'm really good with brand marketing, but yeah. when it, numbers, I need it spoon fed to me. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, me too. I'm like kind <laughs> of like I probably should hire like somebody because I don't know. It what sounds I'm doing. like it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. If <laughs> you shut your online like, store down, yes, you might need somebody like packing orders and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I'm you, looking for somewhere else to live. Like I just my life is crazy right now so. okay we'll get into that yeah. after this <laughs> I don't know. that's cool uh, like it's it's amazing like I, like i've done it so many times where you just put it on the line and you're like fuck it i'm just gonna have a go and make it work yeah and yet the reward sometimes isn't in um money like yeah. it, most of the time it's not in money most of the time it's in the lifestyle that you get to live because yeah. you're not tied to a desk Absolutely. or tied to being somewhere yeah 8 30 to 5 or whatever it yeah. is and that's the that for me is the real reward right yeah absolutely i really struggled with um like having to go to work and like having my yeah my old boss would tell you i would literally get to work and be like mm, this doesn't feel good i'm leaving <laughs> and just like like I just wasn't it enough. just wasn't for me yeah and now like I when I'm feeling really productive then I can do that and then yep. when I'm not I don't have to and no one's telling me what to do and I yeah. don't have to I hate being like boxed in yeah I just am too I don't know I don't know how to describe Can't myself. Cut your hair and yeah, mole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I, you, it's like kind of there's the, there's out external factors that change your yeah. decision, your pro, your decision mm. making process on who you want to be and how you want to be exactly. very quickly. Exactly. Like I want to wake up when I want to wake up. Yeah. And like, yeah. Eat what you want to eat. eat. Do what you yeah. want to do. Go to bed when you want yeah. to bed. Yeah. And like I don't want to deal with customers. Yeah. <laughs> You deal with IRL. more customers than ever now, IRL. though. <laughs> like, do you have this Sketcher in a size nine? Like, Sketches, though. Don't, don't get that. Don't get that shoe. That would be mine. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah. What we're going to do is yeah. we're going to see how fast you can make a cocktail. Mm. You said you want to beat whoever's the fastest on the board. Yeah. The fastest on the board is me. Yeah, I'll probably be. And it's 20 seconds. What is it, Kirsten? 20, 20, 20 49. The Easy. slowest is 49.81. Okay. She, Karina was the one that put the um, strainer upside down and, and tipped the cocktail. Went. Yeah. And w- Can you show me how to do it first? You're just going to give yeah, me a Yeah, no, no, no. We'll, we'll give you a little, I'll give you a little run Test. through quickly. Okay, good, good, good. We'll get set up. I'll give you a little run yeah. through and then yeah. I'll talk you through it as you go. Right. But you got to fucking go fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Don't you worry. All right. Let's get set up. We'll come back. All right. <laughs> Cool. All right. Here we go. All right. Speed test. All right. I've given you a little walkthrough. Yeah. 75 mils mm-hmm. of the of the espresso martini mix. Yep. 45 mils yep. of the vodka. Yep. Ice. Yep. Five shakes. Yep. Strain it out. Put the coffee beans on top. Yeah. You're the first one to do this with the espresso martini. Okay. Everyone else goes for the margi. But this is, here we go. I haven't seen the finger flick since I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm ready. All right. We're going to go on three, two, one, go. Well, I'm really nervous. No, wait. don't be nervous. Okay, should I get rid of this? Yep, yep. move it over to the side. All right. Hey, wait. Okay, go. Ah! I'm going to walk you through it, right? Okay. Remember? Oh, we're going ice first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. Ice in. Yes, you're good. Fill it right up. Fill it right up. There we go. Right up, All right the way right to right the top. Right up, right up. There we go. Bang. Dump it in. 45 mils. Second line down. 
Oh, this is a good time. Fill, 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 fill. Bang. Dump it in. Five shakes. Lightly. One, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, Crack mom. it open. Ah! You gotta hit the hit the side, remember? The side. Oh there you go. I'm open. Time. There you go. I'm time. Strainer on top. No, strainer on top of the tin. There we go. Ah! Uh, dump it in. Coffee beans on top. 2918. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first one? God damn it. <laughs> That's awful. Hey, that's top 20 though. Mate, hey, top yeah. 20. All right. Top, All right. Top 20. Good, good foam on the head. Look at that. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's so stressful. <laughs> You went to put the you went to yeah. put the strainer on top of the glass. <laughs> there was a lot going on. There was a lot going on. Uh, those. Oh my god! All right, All right, we'll get it cleaned up. We'll come thank back. You, <laughs> Twenty nine, eighty one. Oh, not my best work. Where'd you end up? What what position? What was? It's like sixteenth or seventeenth. Oh, I don't like that. Seventeenth. You got to think. We're talking milliseconds here. Like there's like. From 20, 20 seconds to 29, 16 people in there. Yeah, 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 true. And there's it only nine, the there's only nine the seconds. Yeah, the whacking got you. Oh, Come on, Stark. Close it. enough. <laughs> anyway, I'll get over yeah. it at some point. You're so like, um, like, as I said, I've been following you for ages. I guess you're like really open and raw yeah. with your followers. Like, mm. do you feel, is that the, the space that you kind of let everything come out or like, you don't do you ever hold back, even hold back a little bit, yeah. or you just let it go. I absolutely hold back a lot, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's not many people, well, that I know or, that I follow personally that are actually like. I don't know. I just feel like whenever I curated, yeah, whenever I speak on my story about my life, or if I'm if I post something that's like relating to me there's so many people that are like thank you or this um really helped me or whatever yeah and that's honestly why i do it like it's good for me and then it's good for however many people i'm impacting yeah, as well yeah. um because life is really fucking hard absolutely it is. and like we all just need to be honest <laughs> yeah. about it like it's good but sometimes it's really hard and I don't know. I think it's important to share. Like, I can be really funny, but then I can also be like sad. I th I think one like everyone obviously they call it like Instagram like obviously the highlight reel of your life or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people don't realize that the ups and downs y you have to have ups and downs because the downs are what make the ups. Yeah. So good. Exactly. And when you're up, you're up. Or like when you're up, like it, it's obviously amazing. But when you're down you kind of don't really feel like interacting with people or yeah. telling people how you really feel or whatever it is. So it's, it takes a, you know, a lot of courage to be even able to jump on there and be like, like I, I've seen some of the things you posted and be able to actually express yourself, how you're feeling yeah. in a moment of probably some, in a moment that you probably don't really want to yeah. express yourself. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes I really like, sometimes I need to just take a break because I feel like people, expect a lot from me sometimes like expect that I'm sharing some parts of my life that I actually don't want to share yeah I am quite open but there's a line yeah you give them a certain amount yeah. and, and then, then they're like oh that's not enough we yeah, want like, more we want more. What what about about more and I understand because I don't know to them I they feel like they know me maybe yep and um I feel like that with other people that I follow but yeah, I just I try and be as open and honest as possible about everything in my life to a point. Yeah, and I think that people appreciate it and they can relate, and I'm just like a normal. I think that's what re like engages people, right? Yeah, like the open, the honesty. Yeah, it's just making sure that you still have some part of your life that's your life, and yeah. it's not everybody needs to know everything. And mm -hmm. sometimes you got to draw the line, I guess. Yeah, yeah. What's it. this like? Kirsten said, which was doing some research, that you had like a like a tarot card reader or something, like somebody yeah. like look into your artwork mm -hmm. and like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? So what happened was I was probably like, I'm going to go with 20. Yeah. Could really be any age, but let's say 20. My mum is like super spiritual, so she's really into like um, readings and healings and Reiki and all this stuff, yeah. and I've never really been into it. Um, and she suggested that I go and see this. Um, What's it called? Clairvoyant. Oh, yeah. 
at this time in my life, I had just moved back from London. I wasn't doing anything. I didn't even have a job. Like I was just like drunk. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Tw- 20. Yeah. I was just like, no good. Anyway, I went to this lady. She was really scary. Like the vibe was like, oh. I don't know. She was really like. If you're not into that kind of stuff, I feel I like really, their vibe is yeah, like always like, a bit ah. like, like, is this person going to tell me something that I don't want to hear? Or yeah. they going to tell me things that I want to hear? Or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was really like, um, yeah, a bit like, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. so at the time I was doing gigs and stuff, I was, I do music. Yeah, so I was yeah. really into my music and I was doing gigs and I thought like that was where my life was going or eventually I was going to like be a musician or whatever. And she literally said you are going to be an artist and you're going to be so successful and all this stuff. And I was like, I was like really angry. I left and I was like, fucking hell, I've just spent $200 on this random person to tell me that I'm going to be an artist. I've got this sick guitar at home. Yeah, I was like so (laughs) offended and so like pissed off. And I was like, thanks a lot, mum. Like that was such a waste of time. And here I am. So she was right. That's great. And were you doing art at that time? No, I literally... Nothing. Is anyone else in your family like artistic? Like, like, um, or is it? Yeah, my little sister, she has her own brand. It's called Mogley. If anyone Mogley? wants to check is that out. Is this one that got expelled? Oh, she did get expelled as well. <laughs> 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 Two out of four got expelled. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, naughty, naughty. Naughty kids. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> she's super artistic. I'm not sure about the other two. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. That, so. Yeah. So I kind of tell people that story. It's just like so weird that she told me that was going to happen i was so like pissed off but it happened i can imagine <laughs> is it like i know currently like you've like you've said i'm shutting my your web store and stuff like that and you like you were saying it before you're just trying to work out your life because your life's crazy at the moment what's going on like what's the because i as a designer <laughs> yeah as a designer and somebody who draws and stuff like that and i still paint every now and then but i only paint when i'm fucking I'm really mad or frustrated or something, and that's when I feel like I need to do something. Like, it's kind of therapeutic. It's not monetizing. Yeah. And I get creative blocks, and I get when you're stuck doing paperwork and all those kind of things, you're just like, fuck, this isn't why I did this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I'm not going to go, like, into too much detail about Don't my personal life, but basically I was uh, – my old relationship um, ended. Yep. We were together for six years, engaged and everything, um, and that kind of ended. Um, and so since then, it's been like six months. I've been just trying to find like my own, I don't know, just like start again, and it's really hard. I'm like living in a house that I hate and there's no room for my business and no yard for my dogs. It's all just like really messy and there's shit everywhere and I can't like – I don't have anything set up, so I, I feel like I can't do anything. You're uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. All of the time. All of the time. And, like, I want to – I've got stuff coming. I've met, I've designed new shirts and everything. I've made a Christmas shirt and everything's happening. But, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to pack any orders or anything. Where, I'm just where very, you like – Yeah. So my That's life is just a bit um, messy and uncomfortable at the moment until I find my place again and – Kind of start again, find myself again. Six years is a long time. Like six years is comfortable, right? Like yeah, that's like absolutely. You th- things are great. Things are hot. You're good. Yeah. Like you you set everything up. Yeah. And then it all comes undone. Like I get it. Like yeah. that's a there's a lot of um, like even like finding somewhere to live on the Gold Coast is not an easy. It's very hard. An easy feat. And at the like moment. I own and it's expensive. My own house, you know. Yeah. Like I had every I had everything, and now I have. Nothing, and it's like I'm starting again. Yeah. So it's just, it's a hard place to be and run a business. Yeah, but absolutely. my followers are so like chill and understanding. Yeah, that's Which sounds. I'm really grateful for. But yeah, life is a bit. I'm get, you'll figure it out. It's <laughs> yeah, one of those I, think things, I always do. It. It's just I always like, do. It's one of those things, you know, you got to find, find you again, find like, because you, as you knew it six months ago, is doesn't exist literally i feel like i and ever since i left that relationship and like i'm being my true self right now yeah so many good things are happening to me even though my life is like messy and i don't have a home really at the moment but so many good opportunities are coming and i feel like it can only get better so Keep i'm your excited arms open. yeah like i'm so excited for the future 
I guarantee, mate, if you're doing collabs and like yeah, like if you're having problems to shut your shop, <laughs> think they're all, they're yeah, all they're, they're good problems. They're good to problems have. to have, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for uh, yeah. sure. I for get sure. it. I absolutely get it. And then yeah. like creative block and how do you deal with like those kind of things? Do you ever get that or oh, you do, all the time? Or you use like because you use a lot of it as like you yeah. draw as an outlet. Yeah, I guess. I usually have like a few nights where I just draw like 20 drawings yeah, and then I can use them for the next yeah. weeks and then I'll just feel not feel like drawing for a week. Yeah, yeah. So it's like very just whatever. I don't have just, like just a no business routine, plan yeah. or anything. Yeah. I'm just like <laughs> chilling. I get it. Yeah. Oh, I've had a couple of business with that business plan. Yeah. <laughs> it's working for me at the moment. So. <laughs> with um, – because you, obviously you said you started – like doing music and yeah. like I've seen you started posting music, like you didn't post a lot of music stuff for like from when I first started following you, but you're starting to post a lot of yeah. music stuff and you're friends with a um, friend of mine, Lily, and you guys yeah. sing together and do yeah. stuff together. Is it like, is that sudden become a little bit of an outlet for you as well? Yeah, Cause, Cause you have an amazing voice and you can act, fucking sing. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah. Like music is a massive part of like who I am. I love it. Even if I'm just in my bedroom singing and by you're myself. Singing in here, like if like yeah. if there's silence, you like just start yeah. singing. It's like <laughs> I can't help drown, it. It's drown like, out the silence. I was raised, <laughs> but my dad's super like Music, musical, yeah. and my mum was always dancing, and we just were a very like yeah. musical family. So I was just, I just love it, and yeah, I'm trying to do things that I want to do, and that like what I love because yeah. I'm like my own person. I'm just trying to like, you know. You know, I don't know. Figure it out. Yeah, figure it out. Figure it out day to day. Yeah. I do it daily. Yeah. I wake oh, up, I'm like, hmm. I wake up, I look at my calendar, I'm like, I've got these five meetings today and I make uh, my my mornings are like time with my daughter and my afternoons are time with my daughter. It's like whatever in between. It's just, it for me, it's like whatever gets me to that time that I get to pick her up from kindy or yeah. whatever she's doing, then I get to spend time with my family. Yeah. Like they're, yeah. they're just, the things in between that allow me to live my the lifestyle that I want to live on weekends and yeah. Yeah, ex, ex, outside of work, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you – What have you got anything that you're working on, like more things? Um, like I've more got – Like more collabs or anything? Um, God, I would forget his name. Um, I don't think – You I need was, a PA. Yeah. <laughs> anybody out there? Can anybody out there help me, please? Is it me <laughs> you're looking for? <laughs> um, I've, yeah, I've – Designed more shirts. I've got some shirts and a hat coming, yep. which I'm really excited for. Um, I'm just taking it easy. I'm trying not to like take on too much at the moment while I'm trying to figure out yep. like what the fuck I'm doing. Do you get do you manufacture everything here? Like do you do it all screen yeah. printed and all the hats yeah. embroidered and everything yeah. here? Yeah. So I've got um, I've just recently found a supplier here in Corumbin. So yep. everything's made here, which awesome. is really important. Um, yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm excited. Just doing stuff. Don't know where I'm going to pack all the orders, but hey, <laughs> we'll figure it out. We might have some room soon, but yeah. currently, like you saw what was going yeah, on outside here. Yeah, got a lot going on Yeah, there's a bit of shit. We've got like still get like out here, there's like a Squid Games, like a yeah. like a big square arena out cool. here. Concrete's getting poured in there on Saturday. It's crazy. Good times. All right. We're going to play a little game. Let's play a game. The Shake Up card game, the Never Have I Ever Pack. You've chosen three questions. Yep. I'm going to let you choose one. Okay. And then you're going to give us the story. All right. All right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I just pick one? Yeah. Pick one. Travelled overseas with less than $500 in my bank account. So I was poor <laughs> and I went to Bali. And um, how much did you travel with though? Was it five hundred or less? Less. Holy shit! <laughs> I, yeah. So um, put my, it all on the flight and see what at happens. The time was like, cool. Let's like go change our cash, and I was like, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. And she was like, <laughs> <laughs> she was like, is that is that's not all you've brought, right? And I was like, yeah. She was like, two hundred dollars. We for two weeks. And I was like, yeah, but I thought Bali was like super cheap. Just she like, was like <laughs> two dollar rice rice yeah. balls. <laughs> so I went to Bali day. with two hundred dollars. Holy shit! Yeah, and obviously I had to start borrowing money. Yeah, with after like one day. 
after one day you <laughs> the pool bar the pool the bar, pool bar, got, the pool bar got you first day <laughs> i got yeah i got my hair done i got like all kinds couple of stuff massages yeah. okay. 17 massages damn poppies too morning. for some fake louis v absolutely <laughs> got a few bags blankets and uh, that um 200 bucks you're so psycho yeah that's crazy she wasn't even surprised she was like yeah cool just classic a, ellie just uh, did I don't know. You, did, did, no, you don't probably not. didn't have travel insurance or anything. That's mad. What? That's so loose. <laughs> <laughs> what will be will be. <laughs> Roll the dice. Roll the bloody dice. Yeah, fuck. Ellie, thank you so much for coming in. You're so sharing welcome. your story. Um, people can follow you. It's just type in on Instagram, shut up. Yep. Shut up. You have to type in shut up. You have well, to shut type up. in shut up. <laughs> With an R. S H U T U R P. That's it. You yeah, got YouTube as well. That's where you put nah, all your music. Go, no. You put all your music stuff don't, on there. Don't look me up on YouTube, I beg. Where else? Do you do TikTok? Yeah, I, know, I actually went viral. Did you? Yeah, of course. Tell me. Of course. What'd you do? Um, literally nothing. Uh, like I duetted a video and literally did nothing. Yeah, right. And, and you went it viral. Got like, yeah, fucking heaps of you. The guy we had in here last week, Lakota, goes viral for smiling. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah. he's like, man, it's I just like I just like smiled into the camera and I went viral. I was like, fuck. Yeah. Wish I'd have smiled like that. It's yeah, amazing. Fuck. Yeah. So TikTok. TikTok, same shut same, up. Same, same shut up. Yeah. Um go follow. Yeah, that's it. Buy merch. Yeah. Buy hats. Yeah. If you think Christmas is shit, why the <laughs> Chris can't spell Christmas Do without spelling want. shit. Do whatever you want. You gotta, is your website open and running? Yeah, it's my all website's up and running. Yeah. There'll be new stuff coming soon though. So keep before an eye out. Christmas, yeah. Christmas. You post everything on Instagram anyway. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, jump yeah, on yeah. there and have a look. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your Thank story. Thank you for having me. Cheers. Cheers. Lovely to see you. Thank you. <laughs> That's today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, leave a review. Go show the shake up some love and stay connected. Don't forget you can watch all of our episodes on YouTube. Also, jump over to our Shake Up Cocktail Gang Facebook page where you can find out who's coming up on the podcast. And if you've got questions for them, I'll ask the bloody questions. You can also use the code SHAKEUP for 10% off on mrconsistent.com.au. Thank you so much for listening. And just remember, shit, that's fresh.